I wanted to do a quick video just to emphasize the importance of using video in your business. Uh, before lockdown started, I was speaking at a conference and a really enthusiastic young lad came up to me to, uh, after seeing me speak and said to me, what's the most important thing that I should be doing in my business right now in order to grow it? And I said, without thinking, and probably with, I should have asked him why, but I said, video. Video is by far and away the most important thing that you can do in your business. Uh, and the reason for that is um, how you can actually repurpose the content. So from a video, uh, upload it to YouTube, you can then send it across to rev.com, you can have it transcribed. A 10 minute video is worth about a thousand words once it's been transcribed, so you can then uh, upload that into your blog, you can then cut and paste from your blog once it's been edited into a LinkedIn post onto Medium, um, onto all these different platforms and things like that. You can then in embed, if your video's on YouTube, you can then embed it in the blog articles, so you end up with this rich content. You can take that video, you can cut it up into 10 smaller videos and use it on Instagram carousel posts. You can create a six or five minute version of it and use that as an IG Instagram TV, IG TV video. Like the world is your oyster and you can publish that across all sorts of different platforms, and Twitter and all of the, you know, Facebook and all the different social media platforms and end up with, you know, 50, 100, 200, 300, uh, different posts and pieces of content just from one simple 10 minute video. And then I stopped my, my rant and uh, looked at him and he kind of scratched his head and thought for a moment and he said, what's the second most important thing that I should be doing uh, for my business in order to grow it? And I was like, I think you've just missed the point. Obviously, the most important thing you can be doing is video. I said, what's the problem? He said, I'm just really scared of getting onto the camera. So uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video now is um, I'm, I'm, I'm out enjoying a, a walk with my dog. There's nobody else around. It's really peaceful and quiet and things like that. But I was a little bit fearful of actually getting my phone out and starting to do this video. I was worried about, you know, what if there are other people around and they can hear me or see me doing this? Will they think I'm a bit of a plonker, you know, or whatever. And uh, other little things there. I keep on looking over here instead of at the camera, which is over there. Uh, I'm worried about, is the audio going to come out? All right. So there's all these fears and things like that which are coming out um, when it comes to actually doing a video but the simple thing is just to whip your camera out and do the damn video because um, there is an everybody has a message a very important message to share everybody can help somebody else out there in the world and uh, video they say that you know uh, a picture paints a thousand words well a video paints a thousand pictures so um, it's it's a really worthwhile exercise getting into the habit of putting video out there I don't do enough uh, I have doubled down on my YouTube channel and a few other things like that uh, for my courses and whatnot, but I don't do it enough for social and to kind of help to educate people. So, so there we go. Um, I would say as well that the first uh, 30 or 40 videos that I put onto my YouTube channel are, are content's good, but the production is terrible. I look at them, the clothes I'm wearing, I'm a bit embarrassed if I'm honest. Uh, so, you know, um, but I got through that. It was actually getting through those first 30 or 40 videos, which gave me confidence to step out as a speaker, uh, to do better quality videos, to um, speak up for myself uh, and and start to teach people with a bit of authority. So uh, if you're on the fence about doing video, just give it a try. You can always do a recording like this and if it goes wrong uh, or you say the wrong thing, you're a bit embarrassed, you can always just delete it and the world never has to know that you did that video. It might take you 10 or 20 practices before you get it right. Um, before you're, you know, you get a, a take which you're confident enough to publish it. Um, so my advice is just get out there and do 10 or 20 videos, even if they're a load of rubbish or you feel they're a load of rubbish. I bet the content is invaluable and you can really help other people. So, so crack on. Um, if you've got any questions about video, maybe just drop it into the comments below this post. Uh, and or maybe if you've got some videos you'd like other people to kind of um, critique or check out or uh, give some feedback on, share the links into the comments below as well. Um, and if you just found this video helpful. I tell you one thing which I can do, I can give you a gift. When I talked about that video content ecosystem, the repurposing content uh, into um, blog articles, getting it up onto Rev and stuff like that, I have got a diagram uh, which explains all of that and a little video. So if you, if you want a copy of that, in the comments below, uh, just put VCE, Video Content Ecosystem, so the letters VCE into the comments below, um, and I will find a way to get that into your inbox. Uh, so you've got the, the full workflow which I use for my videos. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I shall look forward to reading the comments and I will catch up with you all again soon.